All right, let's get to a mad dash. Going through our list, Jim, of earnings, because that's really where we want to focus. So Danaher, uh, revenue's down 7.5% year over year, $7.2 billion. Operating cash flow, $1.9 billion. This has been one of the great wealth creators over any period of time, other than more recently, right. which you can see has not been the case. And that's no. a rarity for the for Mitch Absolutely. Rails now, and I'm gonna, Danaher. I'm going to talk about it. Now, the way that my club works it is if I mention something on air, I am now held. I was going to tell you that we were going to buy this weakness. This is the third cut. It is the deepest. And what matters the most is that on the conference call, they said, basically, we are at the bottom. Now, remember, they are heavily levered to biotech orders, and those have been on hold. And we now are starting to see some biotech IPOs. They had a spike uh, because an outfit that competes them called, with them is called Sartorius from Europe called the bottom the other day and said things are looking better. So yep. the cross current here is to say, all right, and Lorink has a nice note out as they're talking, which has basically said the magnitude of these cuts should help in confidence in a true reset. This is a true reset. So we are going to talk about this in our morning meeting, as Jeff Marks said, and most likely buy it when we're allowed to, just three days from now. Why? Because we believe and have waited for Dan or her to say it is the bottom. They have refused to, refuse to, refuse to, and it might be. If, this is reflected poorly on Thermo Fisher, which is another very right. good company. I mean, if history is any guide, we should point out, this uh, Mitch Rail's been a moneymaker. By the way, Larry Culp, we were talking about GE, right. a Dan or her guy, right. had run the company. Right. Um, so, yes. And Thermo Fisher is suffering primarily because it's in the same business. Yes. It has not reported earnings. No, I mean, remember, we used to have, we had a biotech. And again, you go back and look at the performance of this company's stock price. It's been unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they have COVID hangover. So did Danner. COVID remember hangovers, what's going right. on with Danner. It was, it was up 14 just the other day, down 11. That does net out to be positive. Go back even 10 right. years. I mean, but what that's bothers the, me yeah. about, about what people don't understand is, is that if you have a boom in IPOs, of which I think there could be, then this is certainly the last big quarters. Because as soon as a biotech IPO has money, they go buy equipment. Then they go buy all the equipment. Yeah.